you guys. Today is our 200th YouTube video. That's insane. It does not feel like it's been that long, but I guess we have 200 videos floating out on the internet, which is crazy. We asked you guys over on the community tab what bookstore you wanted us to go to today to celebrate, and you guys chose Barnes & Noble. So we are here now, and it's actually perfect timing because we just saw today they announced that their big book haul is back. So they have 50% off of hundreds of hardcovers. They also have like 50% off ebooks, audiobooks, a bunch of different sales happening today. So we're excited to go in. We're gonna shop around a little bit to celebrate but we also did bring our Kindles just to get some Starbucks and read a little bit more of our literal besties book club book so we're just gonna hang out and have a great day at Barnes & Noble You guys, it's much later. We started out at Barnes, we read a little bit of our book club books, we shopped around. They did not have as many hardcovers as I thought they were gonna have as part of the sale, but that's okay, we still did some shopping. We're right by a highway too, so you're gonna hear lots of traffic sounds, but that's okay. After Barnes & Noble, we did go to that thrift store and you guys, that store was a treat in itself. First of all, we didn't even know it was there. It was massive. They had so many books. Then we ended up at Half Price Books because we said last time, anytime we go to Barnes, we have to go to Half Price because it's right here. Starting off with a book that I got from Barnes & Noble, the book I wanted was, of course, not a part of the hardcover <laughs> sale, which was fine, but I wanted it anyway, so I ended up getting it. It's the only one left by Riley Sager. I did attempt to take the sticker off and it was not that successful, but it's fine. This book is his newest one. You just read it and really liked it. I think you gave it a 4.5. I think so, it was good. I have enjoyed every single book that I've read by Riley Sager, so I'm sure I'm going to enjoy this one too. I know in this one we're following a caretaker who is taking care of a woman who allegedly killed her entire family years ago. And so this lady is trying to share her story, but she can't even speak. So that's that sounds really good. I heard the plot twist in this one is insane and Riley Sager is like the king of plot twists. So 
I can't wait to read it. I didn't even get a hardcover from Barnes. <laughs> Everything that I wanted wasn't part of the sale, but that's fine. I got two books that I have been wanting for a while. So first up is The Kiss of Deception by Mary E. Pearson. This is the author of that huge duet, Dance of Thieves. I do own the duet already, but I've heard that if you read this trilogy beforehand, you get a better understanding of like the world and everything. I don't know how they're connected, but I do want to read this first, so I finally picked it up. So it says on the top, she flees on her wedding day. She was supposed to have like an arranged marriage, but she runs away because she wants a new life. She escapes to a distant village, and I think it's just about different secrets and things that are unlocked. I like that we don't know much about it, but I know it is a fantasy series, so I'm ready to read it. And then I can finally read Dance of Thieves because I think I'm really gonna like that duology. One of the ones I found at that thrift store is All the Dangerous Things and a Book of the Month copy. Y'all know I'm trying to grow my little Book of the Month stack on my shelf. This is actually one that I have been wanting for a while now. It says this is a totally gripping thriller about a desperate mother with a troubled past. So this is a mystery thriller book. It's only like 313 pages. So I'm sure I can read this one really fast. I haven't read anything by this author yet. So I'm interested to see if I like like her mystery thrillers. The second one I got from Barnes is Almond. I have been wanting this book for so long. I follow a lot of bookstagram accounts that recommend literary fiction and this is one I see a lot. So this is about a boy with a brain condition that makes it hard for him to feel emotions like fear and anger. He tries to retreat into silent isolation and then he meets a troubled teenager at school and I bet they just help each other out of whatever they're going through. I'm so excited for it. I'm gonna annotate this one. It looks like a short read. Yeah, it's under 300 pages as well. So I'm just ready to get started on it. This is one that I can't believe that I finally have. Another one I was so happy to find at that thrift store is Kristen Hanna's Winter Garden. I know a few of you guys have been saying this is one of your favorite Kristen Hanna books so far. Kristen Hanna wrote The Nightingale and that really made me realize how much I love historical fiction. I just got her book Four Winds. So I'm so happy to add this one to my collection as well. The top says mesmerizing from the first page to the last. Winter Garden is one woman's sweeping heartbreaking story of love, loss, and redemption. That is everything I love, wrapped up into a little sentence. I am excited to read more by Kristen Hanna, and I hope that I love the other books just as much as I love Nightingale. All right, so at the thrift, okay, here's the thing. I own this book, yes I do, but I have all of my Neil Schusterman books in hardcover and the one that I own of this book is paperback, so I had to get the hardcover. This is Game Changer. You guys know how we feel about this man. So it says, a tackle on this high school football team. Ash is used to taking some hard hits, but that one run in his last game must have knocked him a little loose because suddenly his life doesn't look quite as he remembers it, almost like he's in another dimension. Mm. Come on, Neil Schusterman, that is a game changer. His ideas. His ideas, this man's mind. There are infinite ways to do the wrong thing. I love this, I'm excited for it. I'm so happy I have the hardcover now. You guys know we love this man's writing, so I have high hopes. We just love that man in general. We just love this man. Look, the spine is like Roxy. Mm -hmm. The last book I found from that thrift store is actually one that we noticed on the way out. We were already getting ready to leave and then I last minute noticed the book eaters in hardcover. Lauren just got the book eaters in paperback from Barnes & Noble. Y'all know she's a hardcover girly and I'm a paperback girly. So this works out perfectly because we will just switch. This is a story where they eat books and they retain all of the knowledge that they consume. So a romance is like a sweet dessert treat and mystery thriller is like a peppery little spicy meat. The Book Eaters is a darkly sweet pastry of a book about family betrayal and the links we go to for the ones we love. A delicious modern fairy tale. Maybe we'll read it together and hopefully we both love it. The second one I got from the thrift is Clara and the Sun by Kazu Ishiguru. Following a woman named Clara, she is an artificial friend, so she's like a type of AI. It says Clara is warned not to invest too much time in the promises of humans. Clara and the Sun looks at our rapidly changing modern world through the eyes of an unforgettable narrator and explores the fundamental question, what does it mean? to love. This sounds so good. I had no idea she was an AI. I'm in my fit lit era and I can't wait to read it. The last one we have is a book from Half Price Books in the clearance section. It is Other Words for Smoke. Look how beautiful this cover is with the pink sprayed edges. This is gorgeous. The fact that there was only two left and they're pretty much perfect condition and they were in the clearance section, they were for us. Yeah. This is for our 200th video. 200th video. It was $2, 200. I mean, it works out. 
can't wait to read this. It's like a YA horror book. It does take place in a haunted house and we are thinking we want to read it for spooky season, so. Perfect. Beautiful. We will definitely be going back to that thrift store. I cannot believe that was our first time there. They've been open for eight months. We are gonna be well acquainted with the owners. Yeah, that's what we kept telling her. Like, you are going to be seeing us. And I swear to you, we've seen this woman before. I don't know if you guys remember, but in a previous video, we were at a different thrift store and we kind of, <laughs> And I complained about someone who kept following us around and she was like stocking up on books. We were like, maybe she's a teacher. No, she's the owner of a bookstore. So I take everything I said back. She had every right to be. She had every books. right to be stocking up on those books. She's super nice though. We love the location. We can't wait to go back. But overall, this has been a great day. 200 videos. 200 videos. Here's to 200 more. Who would have thought? Cheers. <laughs> So that's gonna be it for today's video. Let us know if you guys have read any of these books and your thoughts on them. Let us know if you're gonna go participate in the Barnes & Noble hardcover sale. It's running all month until like September 2nd. We're loving our book club book. Make sure to join our book club if you haven't already. Also make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you guys so much for watching. Cheers to 200 videos. We will see you next time. Where's this Texas heat, y'all? Yeah, it's like 101 today. We're in a heat wave right now. A mystery thriller is like a peppery little spicy meal. That's so interesting. That's, that seems like it's from Neil Schusterman. Oh, oh. girl, we in the city. <laughs> uh, hopefully we can read it together. I'm reading it this month. Oh, okay. <laughs> so if you want to, 